Right. So we got Rocco coming in today. Uh, he's the nephew of uh, Tito Anton. If you remember Tito Anton, this is him. And then uh, Rocco just got his uh, bike, but he direly needs uh, help on his uh, bike fitting and biomechanical tuning. So here uh, we're back in in Manila for an early morning, 7 a.m. Um, magic show. So uh, let's see how how much talent this guy can bring out. Okay. I haven't used it at all. You haven't used it at all. Okay, okay. Hop in. Let's check it out. Nice. When did they arrive? That's a classic, huh? Wow. Campanolo. And that's the stem that you have? Okay. How young are you, Rocco? 15. 15 years old? Yeah. What? How come you're so tall? Are you a chess player? Pico player? No? Okay. Okay, let's uh, set it up. Influenced by his uh, uncle, uh, as a 15-year-old, Rocco wanted to um, sign up for his own biomechanical tuning program after watching some of our videos. And today, he uh, will be having his first bike fit after getting his first bike, uh, a road bike. And um, because this is a holistic solution, after the bike fitting, he would be getting uh, biomechanical tuning and then uh, coaching. And today, we're going to find out if this whole program works. His experience today will definitely influence his future. Well, we're done with the bike fit and that was a few minutes. Now, what we're gonna do now is to show you how people normally ride, okay? More important aspect, Rob. Okay? Yes, this is it. <laughs> you know when you get bike fitted with the you know normal so that yeah. what we just did would normally take six hours. Normally. You okay? You feel taller, right? Yeah. You feel like you're not reaching out. And yeah. you know the, the, the advantage of this one is line of sight. What did better. you do? You moved back the saddle. I just increased the saddle. Still here. Yeah, that's it. So without leaving any arrow bars, you're arrow or the saddle. This is when you attack. The lower you go, the more that you're going to be using your core. Yes, you did right. Trench your core. Push down the foot. Come on, push down the foot more. The lower, lower like this. Squeeze this. The more that you catch your core. So when they attack, that's it. Or when you're going to those steepest of the steepest climbs. Yeah. Now, because this is so well balanced, when you see the European pros trying to chase the breakaway, you put your wrist like this. Yes. Okay. The other one. Yeah. And then just go low. And that's it. You can ride the whole thing like that. Yeah. Open your fingers. Yeah. That's why when you look at the pros, you look so smooth, my friend. <laughs> faster, pa. Faster, go. Right? Just right. now that we were able to shift this four power in the center. This one now is not involved. He was stress. He can now focus on speed. You're done. Okay. Okay. Ah, that is a perfect posture, bro. And you're 15 years old, right? You look beautiful, man. Beautiful. Beautiful. Can you show me that again? Can you go to the attack position? Ready? Move forward on the saddle. A little bit more. And then lower on the elbow. It's like you're trying to pull the... Yeah, that's it. Set. Go, go, go. Push down the top. Five. Four. Wow, no movement on the upper body. That's perfect. Recover. How do you recover? Slide back on the saddle. That's how easy it is. And then, can you go to the arrow bar position? Yep. And then, the whole day, you can just start chasing breakaway like that. Done. Okay. This is a custom made Pego Reti. Okay, 15 year old, right? How tall are you? 5'10. 5'10! How come I was never blessed? How, how come? Okay, anyway. Rocco, you know, if I was 5'10", I would be a... Never mind. I would be a superstar. Anyway, uh, Rocco, okay. Uh, so after the bike fitting, after the biomechanical tuning, what we're going to do now, Rocco, is that we're going to test your climbing, okay? I'm going to film it so that you can review it afterwards. I'm talking on the phone yeah. or on the video so that this is going to be your reviewer, okay? So after the biomechanical tuning, I just want to explain to you, okay? Biomechanics is a different kind of a science, not bike fitting. It's like mechanical engineering, right? Mechanical engineering 
is the science of the relationship of moving mechanical bodies and they have to blend together biomechanical tuning on the other hand is the relationship of a living body you yeah. with the machine and it has to flow smoothly that's why when you look at the world tour level athletes they ride with panache like they're like molded okay now after the bike fitting after the biomechanics we're gonna gonna test your climbing and at the moment you're now climbing on the big ring okay smallest cog at the hardest setting okay so this is the script just follow my instruction we're gonna start climbing we're gonna simulate a 15 percent gradient and then at the top of the hill you've been climbing for almost 30 minutes at the top of the hill if this works out you won't be accumulating lactic acid and lactic acid is the one that slows down people so uh lactic acid is the one that slows you down what we just developed is uh, a system where you can flush lactic acid fast okay yeah. so you got to tell me objectively if this one works out okay okay here we go okay, so the first part of the program Rocco if you're watching this uh we're gonna do some climbing okay so when you're climbing long climbs like super long like like in down all the way to the right you can hold here like that not inside not this huh? because when you do this it's gonna tweak your wrist after a while it's gonna hurt you so you there you go okay slide back on the saddle there you go your legs are almost straight and all you gotta do now is just scrape and lift up scrape and lift because we amplify this torque not power not endurance not just the mass, right now sprint lifting up just sprint some more lifting up don't move and that's effortless right yeah. and you notice everything comes from here yeah because there's no more pressure on the leg. Everything comes from here. It's lifting up. Watch this. Doesn't make any difference. Doesn't make any difference, right? Yeah. Doesn't make any difference. That's already the smallest. It still doesn't make any difference. <laughs> Lift up some more, faster. Yeah? And that's not even four wheel drive yet. Yeah. Not even, right? Look at the gear. You ran out of gears already. <laughs> Feel it? Yeah. Next. Hold here now. Okay. So we're gonna start climbing, okay? We're gonna go back to climbing. We're gonna go back to climbing. Steady. Here we go. Okay, so you're climbing right now. So after a long climb, we're gonna start climbing a 15, 21% gradient. When you're climbing 21% gradient, hold here. And this one here. Move forward in the saddle. Now push down, lift up. Go, go. Pull it down. Like, pull it backward. Yeah, push down. Push down. Lift up. Push down. Lift up. Go. Come on. Lower. Lower. Come on. Push down. Lift up. You're climbing, huh? Come on. More. Push down. Lift up. Here we go. We're going to start going to the flat snow. Push down. Lift up. Go. 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 Come on. Five. Four. Three. Two. To show you the magic of this one, what we're gonna be doing now to show him is that after climbing for 30 minutes sprinting on the top of the hill, he can now generate power and speed in just a few seconds. After 30 seconds, we're gonna sprint again. Go to the sprint position, move forward in the saddle, go low, squeeze your chest together, set, move forward, pa, tip of the saddle, set, go, 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 five, four, three, two, recover. Recover? I'm gonna count 30 seconds again and let's see how you can flush the lactic acid again. Here we go. Okay, 30 seconds done on my cue. Go to your drops now. Set. Hold on now. Set. Go, 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 go. Four. Three. Two. Recover. Done. Now that's it. It's so amazing that if I change your gear now, one, two, three, four. Just, that's just four. Yeah. So simple, right? I mean, I, I realize you're, you're always looking at the gear because you literally ran out of gears. <laughs> like nothing anymore in the big ring. 15-year-old man, you're lucky. 
Thanks to our sponsor, <laughs> this guy, and the influencer, that guy. Okay? You're lucky, man. 15 year old, 5 foot 10. Future. Next time we're gonna do triathlon, okay? Now it's addicting, right? Okay, get off the bike and try to feel your legs. Remember, you've been riding for almost 40 minutes. And now that's magic. Nothing on the legs, right? That's it? Done, okay. Can we have a selfie together? Okay, like he's like six foot ten thousand. One, two, done. Okay, so we're finished uh, with our workout. We're gonna be heading back to Celeste Cycles for another uh, round of bike feeding for other guys, okay? Wonderful uh, experience today with Rocco, 15 year old. I think he's got a lot of talent coming in.